Good Friday, everyone. Looking at our weather map for today, we see a few showers across portions of southern west and middle Tennessee, as well as north Mississippi, north Alabama. Those should stay to our west and southwest. The heaviest rainfall today is across portions of western Texas, western Oklahoma, severe thunderstorms, flash flooding. Also the case across portions of Montana and Wyoming where some flash flooding is also possible there. And look at that blue shading over the state of Colorado. That's for snow in the higher elevations of those mountains. If you see in the Gulf of Mexico on the opposite end of that spectrum is Tropical Depression number two. Could become Tropical Storm Arlene at some point today, but uh, if it doesn't get developed into a tropical storm today, then the opportunity has probably ran out and it's going to run into some adverse conditions that will prevent it from strengthening further. It is drifting south toward Cuba, so it is no threat to the U.S. mainland except for some showers and choppy seas across the Sunshine State. Look at our five-day forecast, just a 10% chance today and tomorrow, so most, if not all of us, will stay dry today and tomorrow, and it will be hot um, as we're getting into that time of the year where when rain chances go down, temperatures tend to go up, and that is certainly the case for this weekend. 85 today, 87 possible on Saturday, and then Sunday, 85 with a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. So that part of the forecast is trending a bit wetter. Yes, that's only 30%, but that's better than the 20% chance we had yesterday, and that is a trend toward the wetter, like I said, as we'll have a couple of disturbances sliding through, and with the heat of the afternoon and evening, could kick off some showers and thunderstorms. And then Monday and Tuesday, back down to 20% chances. You'll notice that overnight lows are kind of cool. That's because humidity levels are going to be a little bit lower this weekend, so that'll allow the overnight lows to chill down. The same is true for next week, too. So not incredibly oppressive humidity, that is for sure, um, but certainly some warm and humid conditions on the way. Look at our plateau hay day forecast. I did have to take Sunday and reduce the size of that hay bale just a little bit, just because we do have that chance of showers and the forecast is trending a little bit wetter. I think worst case scenario, we end up with a 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms, but um, I honestly kind of see it kind of hanging out at around the 30% level. But um, today and tomorrow looking great, and then Monday through Thursday of next week looking pretty good. Wednesday's the only day we might have a disturbance coming through right now. I'm um, not too um, optimistic about it producing any rainfall, but um, I'll keep an eye on that part of the forecast. But overall, I can't ask for much of a better hay weather forecast in the beginning of June. On this day, 1998, softball-sized hail fell in Overton County. That's just to our, that's around the Livingston area. In a separate incident, lightning strikes a home on Temple Ridge Drive and starts a fire in the roof, which spreads to the attic and the walls of the house. So an interesting weather day in Overton County on this day in 1998. 1949, a tornado northeast of Alfalfa, Oklahoma, circled an area one mile in radius. And my question is, who lived within that one mile? They got to see that tornado go all the way around them. What an interesting situation. And in 1985, I couldn't find the location of this. But lightning struck a house, broke a bedroom window, jumped to a metal frame bed. The man was killed, but his wife was unharmed by the lightning. Hmm. An interesting situation there for sure. You folks have a wonderful Friday and keep looking up. If you come out to Friday at the Crossroads tonight, look for me in front of the Palace Theater. Hopefully we'll have a good turnout tonight for Friday at the Crossroads. The weather's looking great. Just dress like it's the middle of summer because it's going to feel like it. And we've got one on the Plateau in Fairfield Glade on Saturday from 2 to 4. Come on out and join us. Um, tickets are $30 at the gate or you can get them for $25 on Eventbrite. And that money goes to help us help others in our community. We'll be literally giving every bit of that money away um, to folks who need it in the community. So come out and support us if you can. Again, you folks have a wonderful day. Keep looking up. For more weather information, just keep going to meteorologistsmart.com.